Check my. Oh, that's not the one.
Hey, Sal, check one two. And so I have to use my headphones because my problem my microphone ko so wala tay oras to check that out. I'm sorry. I just move my microphone. And so good morning, everyone. Ngadto maga, uh, beautiful. What do you call this Wednesday? To everyone, ang uh, ganda ng market. Uh, yesterday, kaso nga lang, kas, uh, medyo um, shaky tayo yesterday. We're hitting resistance. We're still at 8.013, right? So, still okay. Still okay for the market, yan. Um, ang daming news na lumalabas na we're one of the best economies uh, in the world, uh, in Asia, right? Uh, so, most probably, that's gonna affect the market. So, I think that's gonna go up. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. Pag-usapan po natin ngayon um, ang mga recommendations ko for today. Ang dami ng stocks na nagliliparan. So, um, everything's looking good. Um, I'm not really sure if it's working already. Uh, I need to test my... Uh, need to test my... Audio. Right. Good morning, um, R. Leo. Good morning, John. Joe Ligares. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. In Laika. Good morning, Lynn Hops. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Chart request po. P. Core, uh, SEC, PHA, and Fen. I'll write these down for Hops. And and so good morning, everyone. And I think it's okay now. Uh, medyo pangit yung audio, pero pasensya nyo na po. Ito lang muna tayo ngayon. Uh, I'm gonna fix my microphone after this. My buntag. Good morning. Uh, Bullen Bear. Good day, coach. Good morning din. Ayan. Um, Ella Montefalco. Renulfo Fuerzas. Uh, good morning. Ayan. Si Hops. Nasulat na natin yung request mo. Kevin Wu. Um, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Laki ng binaba ng Prime Sir. Vulcan and Bicor and Tech. Yeah. Um, hindi natin kasi alam kung ano eh. Um, kung mangyayari yan or hindi nag take profits kagad yung mga tao eh, right? uh, so um, don't worry this is a good opportunity because um, we're gonna be able to ride it again at the support ito yung nangyari kay Primex yesterday so yan naka red na po yung um, uh, what you call this cursor ko uh, as a request from a friend of mine uh, meron kasi siyang uh, kapansanan uh, he can't really see the charts properly. So, ito yung request niya. Shout out to Mark. And so, yan. Pula na yung cursor ko. Yan. Makikita mo na yan. And, yan. Meron na. Uh, upgraded na tayo. Tulilungan niya ako kahapon. How to upgrade my, ano, uh, my cursor. Para makita niyo na po na mas klaro. Pula na po yung cursor ko. Para makita niyo po pag gumagalaw. Right. So, yan. Um, Primex. Here. We are at support levels for Primex already. And, there it is. Yan. So, um, if it bounces, yeah, I recommend ko ulit si Primex. Nag take profits kagad yung mga chupitero. Eh. <laughs> bilis mag, uh, bilis mag ano, um, bilis mag take profits. Eh, siguro, ito yung mga nasa billionaires club or mga followers ko. Kasi kaka kakaket lang ng Primex yun. Nag take profits kagad. <laughs> and anyways, this is a good opportunity. Let's wait for the bounce. Pag nag bounce and today we can get in that stock again. Let me just make sure everything is working well. Right. Um, I hope. Uh, okay lang ang audio. Um, let me just listen to it again. Because um, we're gonna be able to ride it again at the support. Ito yung nangyari kay Primex. Yan, itry ko ilipat dito yung microphone ko. I think it's, it's not that good. Pero... We'll make it. Uh, we'll make it work. Kaya kaya nito yung audio natin. I hope na naririnig nyo po. Um, <laughs> para na daw ako DJ. <laughs> oh nga. Eh. Um, sir, ano tni trade nyo sa itoro? E Cakam kano din deposit nyo? Alright. Uh, we'll talk. Uh, daan na natin yun mamaya. Alright. Unahin mo na natin to si Ido Almo. Hey sir, Lloyd, good morning. As usual, I'm in the train again. Um, good morning sa inyo Jan Ido. Um, ingat sa biyahe. Isaac, Sir Lloyd, any thoughts on now? Si now, na-miss natin yan kahapon. Ganda ng akyat ni now eh. But, basically, si now kasi, uh, dito pa lang sa support, we already recommended now. Na, I hope you remember that. Uh, you, this one, our pullbacks, ang kahirap, ang hirap lang talaga ng mga pullbacks, especially is if 
kaka pullback ni na dalawang beses na this is the pullback right here look at that at MA20 bounce right there di ba so yun yung pullback niya eh. right the third pullbacks really hard to tell usually above MA20 yan na, na yan nagpo pullback so medyo ang hirap na talagang saluhin yan see now it did give us good price action so price action was working on this area right here so at least price action man lang nakita natin yun but kind of risky for me eh. so umakit ka po si now uh, there was good volume we missed this volume yesterday so sana nakita natin yan at nakasakay tayo kay now but um, we don't catch it all eto yan guys ha if you're a trader don't get frustrated if hindi natin mahuhuli lahat or yung pinasukan ninyo hindi umakit ka agad right? there will be times like that that's normal in trading right and hindi sa lahat ng panahon panalo tayo <clears throat> uh, minsan nauuna sila then after them tayo naman right kasi dito tayo pumasok noon sila pumasok mauna sila then sila nagsel celebrate ng una then after that if atin na ang gumalaw since wala sila dito it's our turn to celebrate right you don't catch it all don't get frustrated if may mga nananalo ngayon yung, yung pinastuan mo hindi hindi nananalo right you don't have to react to everything once you've learned how not to react to these market movements na yung panalo tapos naiingit ka that is your trader's mentality na nagmamature, right? Uh, you, you're maturing as a trader. So, it's okay if we miss this, right? Kasi anyways, on our other picks, nananalo naman tayo eh, di ba? Sila TEL, sila lahat, BLL, right? Si BLL, si Vita, right? Si Vita ang taas daw. We called out Vita noong andito siya sa baba, di ba? Uh, dito pala sa baba, we already saw this uh, divergence kay Vita right here. So, we tested out that support. Ang taas na lang panalo natin, di ba? So, ganyan lang. So, kung nananalo sila kay now, for sure, hindi sila nananalo kay Vita. So, tayo rin nagsa-celebrate then on other stocks, di ba? So, you don't have really, you don't really have to envy those things. Right? Um, so, kay Dow naman, uh, medyo mataas na si now for me. I don't want to recommend it anymore. If you want to look at the chart, we are at resistance levels. Uh, I can't really, and um, we don't really have to enter it right now. The be uh, sorry, your um, uptrend niya eh, right? It's still on an uptrend. It's still good. It's still bullish. Um, kaso nga lang, the best entry point was this support right here. Dito. Um, I'll write, I'll brush that down. This is the best support right here. That's the best entry point. This is already out of what you call this. This is already a missed opportunity. Our risk is around 7% already be below support. I mean, 20 is negative 13% below support. So, if you're a position trader, there's no position there, right? Those are that's, that's a missed opportunity already. Wag nyo pong hahabulin kung ayon yung maging investor, right? So, wag po. Joy P, good morning, sir. P Core, ISM, and CLC po, please. All right, so P Core is in my um, still okay. ISM and CLC. Uh, CLC is in my list for today. Um, bang up mga pala, guys. This, this is my list for today. Uh, Vulcan, Bell, MPI, PIP, EW, PSB, CLC, and EEI. Right. Um, so, yun po yung picks ko. Tapos meron ako medyo daring na pick si FDC. We'll talk about that. Uh, this is kind of risky move, but momentum trade. Um, pwede nyo po yung momentum trade to if you want to. I don't want to recommend this especially to newbies, but I think this is gonna fly again si FDC. So, tignan natin yan. Um, I strongly don't want to recommend it, especially kay newbies. Pero I want to test it out today for momentum trade. Ang apala may alis ako mamaya, so hindi ko pa pasukin pala yan. So yeah, um, just want to uh, tignan lang natin mamaya uh, ngayon yung technical analysis. Joy P, so nasulat ko na pani request mo. Jane Hayes, CL Cruzada, good morning. Um, Isaac, will it break out today? Sino? Um, Isaac, sino ba yung sinasabi mo will it break out today? CPSEI. Si uh, I'm not really sure what you mean. Uh, Sheila Bu Balunadi. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning, Dan. All right. Um, JR Bloom, CPG, ISM, BDO, and now. Right. So I'll write these down. Si Bloom, taas pa yung momentum ni Bloom. Eh. Let's wait for Bloom to really pull back before we wanna get in. CPG, ISM, BDO, and now. I'll write these down. Alright, you're welcome, JR Nanette Mills. Somehow your message message got retracted. Sorry. 
uh, can you post it again? Um, Benz, Burn Store T, Burnstone TV Gaming. And akala ko Store TV eh. TV, uh, yung bintahan ng TV. Anyway, anyways, Burnstone, uh, Burnstone TV <laughs> Gaming. Good morning, sir. Ano pong nangyayari kay Primex? Take profits, right? Um, that's normal in the stock market. You really can't predict what's gonna happen to the market. Um, yun, nag-take profits kagad ang mga tao. Lorwin, good morning, sir Lloyd. Good morning din. Kevin Wu, maganda na ang, ganda na ng MPI. Yes. Uh, pinilit, somehow pinilit ko na kayo dati na pumasok yung MPI habang maaga pa Ngayon guys, the valuation of MPI is at around 6 pesos um, BD, uh, No, call financial released something about it Let me open that again That's a very good topic for today Alright, so nag-release si call financial Let's check out MPI Let's talk about that Uh, here Ito yung parang report ni Cole uh, For the investors So This is released January 10 right? Thoughts and ideas from our daily analysis of reservation uh, That are biased on the buy side Riding the metro Metro Pacific And you can't value You can't ignore At Meralco's current market cap Of 440 MPS effective ownership in Meralco alone Is valued at 202 billion And um 6 pesos and 40, uh, 40 po ang hawak ni Mayor kay MPI. So, that's the price they have it. So, napaka mura po po ngayon compared to how the invest the big investor, how much the big investors are uh, bought Mayor. Tulad ni Popey, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo dati, binili siya ni Ayala. That's why I've been recommending Popey kasi sobrang mura um, na ng presyo ngayon compared to how much value Ayala bought Popey. So, that's why I'm recommending Popey whenever it dips. Um, MPI rin. Eto. Right? Uh, buying MPI today translates to not only buying Mare at 30% discount, but also it's another holdings for free. Right? Uh, even if you apply holdings company, don't uh, discount to the NAV and uh, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. 6 pesos and 40 centavos ang valuation niya para sa kanila um, using Mare's uh, investment on what they call this right so you uh on uh mpi all right so mpi nag break out um you can use a breakout strategy if you want to but as much as possible i want you to buy it on dips guys pinilit ko na kayo noon dito pa sa baba all right it's already moving up all right congratulations sa mga pumasok sa mga hindi let's just wait to for it to do uh pullback, mas maganda ang pullback but if you want to be aggressive, you can use a breakout strategy, use that previous resistance as your entry point for MPI but definitely, definitely it's a buy for investors right? um, it's still on my website yan si MPI one of my uh, top 5 you're asking me for top 5 na gusto ko i-long term, isa yan si MPI po right? I highly recommend MPI for long term ganda na earnings, daanan nyo lang yung mga toll gates, makikita nyo paano, <laughs> paano, paano kumita yung mga, yung business ni MPI, right? So, MPI, definitely still a buy. Um, let's go back to the chat room. Um, RJ Abracosa, good morning Sir Lloyd, VUL and SSI, please if Vulcan, i -re recommend ko ngayon. It's already forming a support. Um, we'll talk about that. Isa yan sa, number, uh, sa recommendations ko. Let's check out SSI then. Alright, Dong J. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Pasuyo po ng ani at LTG. LTG is in my recommendations for today. No, hindi. Kahapon. Alright, um, we're just waiting for LTG uh, to move. Alright, kahapon. Umakit siya kahapon, then bumaba lang agad. <laughs> Alright, nagchupit ka agad ang mga tao. Ang bilis mag-take profits. Anyways, um, it's still okay as long as this support holds. It's not in my recommendations today because I always want a confirmation before I recommend it to people. Pag may nakita tayong green dyan, at least maliit pa ang risk. Pwede pang habulin yan. Pag nag-green yan today, pwede nyo po, um, pa as long as the support holds. Wala lang sa recommendations ko kasi na-recommend ko na kahapon and wala siyang green ngayon. Pag, pero pag nag-green yan in the middle of the market, yes, that is a buy for LTG. Si Ani naman, um, nagdadalawang isip ako i-recommend si Ani pe. Right, uh, si Ani, uh, kahapon, we did talk about Ani. I don't want to recommend it today. Um, we have a doji. Na-recommend ko na po kahapon. Dapat kahapon po natin pinasok yan. Let's see. But if you still want to get in Ani, 
um, yan, this is still a good price right here, right? So, buy as long as, as that support holds for Annie, if you're a believer of Annie. But guys, look at this. Annie, third quarter earnings plus 591%. Second quarter earnings, 5.59%. Five, Those are very good numbers given by Ani to us for this year. So, grabe ang kiat ni Ani. Grabe ang kita ni Ani for sure. Yung annual earnings nila na ilalabas, maybe this April, is gonna be very good. Right? So, yeah, pwede natin positionan to anytime. Right? You can be aggressive, that's by here. Pero ang recommendation ko dito, try nyo po long term ito. Right? Mid to long term. Right? This is a good entry point. Just in case it goes down, you just keep buying more. The company is doing well. Pwede nyo pong long term yan. Right? So, Ani is good. Right? I still recommend, uh, still remember recommending Ani at this area right here. So, laki na ng panalo ni Ani. Anyways, let's move forward. Um, that's for Ani. Sian Lau, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, Sir MPI po. It's from Julius. We just talked about LP MPI. Kasel. John Vizcaya, good morning. Sir Lloyd, pasuyo po na FLI, SCC, and PCOR. Ayan, si S FLI, SCC, and PCOR. Ayan, pag-usapan natin ang mga ito. Right. Um, Aniline, good morning. AGI, sir. Right. Um, I'll write down AGI. Si AGI, taas na rin eh. Right. The net mail, good morning. Um, Mark Mabanta, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay Tugs, APX, po, salamat. Alright, so si Gold ngayon, eh, ang ganda ng uh, ang ganda ng galaw ni Gold. Eh. Let's check out Gold kasi somehow affected din dyan si APX. Eh. Alright, o nga pala guys, um, this is eToro. Right, um, my position is already earning 32% from my position kay Google. It's still 4.07% so hindi pa ako mag-take profits. So most probably I'm gonna be taking profits at around 8 to 10%. Ang problema lang dito sa eToro is Hindi po tayo pwede mag-sell half. So, nung linabas ko po si Gold, nagsisisi ako kasi umakyat pa. Right? We were able to earn around $90 kay, kay, ano, kay Gold. Um, let's check out Gold's um, uh, chart. Right? Si Gold, yan, 1 to 19 na siya. Let's check out the chart of Gold. Uh, full screen. Ayan. So, binenta ko po si Gold at around this level right here nung pumula siya. Uh, at this level, dito ko po binenta um, problema, walang sell half if sell half lang sana, at least yung kalahati ko meron pang kita but somehow, hindi po tayo pwede mag sell half, so umaakit siya ngayon and uh, look at that pattern, it's an ascending triangle pattern so uh, it's a flag pattern right there so still bullish po siya so sayang, right, yun yung problema but I've been teaching you how to sell half Gold is doing good. Gold has been doing good since uh, uh, since how many long buwan na? All right, how many months already? So good is okay. So let's connect it to APX. All right, may request kasi about APX. Uh, let's see if ma affect apektahan si APX. So si uh, gold rin yung kita nila. Eh. So pag umaakyat yung benta nila, umaakyat rin yung earnings nila. Excuse me. So APX it's holding on to ME20. Price action is doing well. Um, yes, yeah, so you can test out the support if you want to. May nagsusupport na si APX eh. So, if you see a green one, then you can get in. Nga pala guys, um, shout out uh, sa sponsor natin, eToro. This is eToro. It's a very good platform. You can trade the international market. Why limit yourself sa uh, PSE lang, di ba? Um, you can trade crypto, ETFs, stocks, indices, commodities, currencies, currencies, marami pa. Ngayon pwede i, uh, i, i ano dyan, i, uh, what they call this, mag-invest dyan. And then, if you're already good, uh, if you don't have, unahin natin yung mga hindi pa marunong mag-trade. If wala kayong oras, and you don't know how to trade, you can always click on this right here. Copy people. Right? Just click on that, and then you are gonna be given, uh, a list of people um, na mga magagaling mag-trades. I want to recommend to you guys this guy. Eh, this guy's in love with you, pare. <laughs> um, asa na yan? Uh, F101 Itoro. Uh, if I forget his name, international kasi eh. Um, yung, oh no, not that. Uh, nakalimutan ko yung pangalan niya. Ito si Ames Trader. Ayan, a i m s Trader. I want you to look at his stats, guys. Right? Uh, last trading day, 0%. But look at the past 12 months, 
let's check out his stats. You can check out his stats. For this year, 0.10 lang siya for January. But look at his stats on 2018. Isang pola lang. So, yung kinikita niya, sana kinikita niyo rin. So, tindi, di ba? So, this is how good of a trader his, he is. If wala pa kayong oras mag-trade and um, you really can't trade. Right? Hindi kayo marunong mag-trade. Just click on copy how much money you want to use to copy him. Whatever percentage he earns this month, you are gonna earn too. You can always stop the copy if you think you're happy with the performance. Mabibidraw, uh, mapupunta, ma matitigil yung copy trade and then you, whatever you earn, you're, it, so it goes to your buying power. Right? So this is how beautiful it is for sa mga hindi pa marunong mag-trade. Right? I strongly recommend this kasi ang hirap, uh, uh, the problem with the newbies right now is gusto nila mag-invest. Right? Uh, especially the OFWs, yung followers natin. Especially sila, gusto nila mag-invest. It's just that they don't have the time. They don't know what they're doing. Yun pinakamalaking problem eh. So if you are that, huwag nyo na pong pilitin matuto mag-trade. Right? Um, unless na may plano kayo maging trader talaga. Pero for now, wala kayong oras, just do this. Whatever he earns, you're gonna earn also. Right? So, yun. Um, that's itoro. Uh, let's go back to our discussions. Alright, si Aji, good morning. Um, Tags and APX, uh, sulat ko muna si Tags, dadaanan natin yan mamaya. Alright, every now and then, pag may nagagandahan ako sa stocks, dadaanan natin kaagad yan. Um, little Deer, XO, good morning. Yan. Good morning, sir. In insights from SMPH, yan, si SMPH. Grabe si SMPH, di ba? Malapit na mag-breakout. Malapit na mag-all-time high si SMPH. Um, daanan natin si SMPH. Alright, here it is. SMPH. All-time high niya is how much? Around 39.75. We are at that price already. So, isang galaw lang mag-all-time high na si SMPH. So, congratulations. Right? So, this is a very good move for SMPH. Congratulations sa mga pumasok sa baba. Ilang araw ko po kayong pinilipilit na pumasok kay SMPH. Dito pa sa main support niya. It's already been earning 26%. That's a lot already. That's a good trade, especially for blue chip. So, ngayon, ang question is, pwede pa bang pasukin ito? Pag nag-breakout, Sir Lloyd. Right? I don't recommend a breakout. Especially, guys. Yan. All-time high yan. Uh, something about all-time high. A little lesson about all-time highs. Right? Pwede bang habulin ang all-time highs? Kasi ang ganda pakinggan, eh, di ba? All-time high. Right? My basic, uh, our, the basics, uh, the trading system that I teach is buy a stock if it's cheap. Right? Basically, that's the, the real concept of stock being in the, inside the stock market. If the stock is on sale, that is when you buy. This stock in front of you is not on sale. Right? Nasa 3965. Yes, pwede yung tumaas. But again, this stock is not on sale. Hindi po naka-sale yan. So, hindi po natin buy yan. Huwag nyo na pong pakikialaman yan. Right? Dapat doon sa baba, doon tayo pumasok. Right? Dito sa baba po tayo pumapasok kung kailan sale sila. Right now, it's already expensive. I don't wanna get into that anymore. Bahala na sila dyan. Right? Kahit pa umakyat yan. I don't wanna get in here. If papasok man ako, I'll wait for it to do a pullback and ride this uptrend line like it has been doing its uptrend line ever since right there. Right? So, it's starting to do a new trend line. So, let's see if magtuloy-tuloy ito. Um, SMPH is, gonna, is doing some changes with their sales. Um, magiging lasa, parang lasada na sila. So, I think that's gonna boost their sales also pag napagsimula na nila yan. So, I think that's gonna be good for SMPH. But this is not the right area to buy. ME20 or this uptrend line here is the best entry point sa SMPH. Wag na wag po kayong maiingit sa mga ganyan. Right? Um, if ever people are celebrating People are celebrating. Yes, congratulations, SMPH, blah, blah, blah. Celebration is not a buy signal. Right? Celebration is a sell signal. When people are celebrating, start selling your positions already. Right? Celebration is a sell signal. Pag nagse-celebrate yung mga tao, Uy, panalo na kami dito, okay now, ganyan. Right? Pag nagse-celebrate sila, you, that's a sell signal. Huwag po kayong papasok. Huwag po kayong magpapahype sa mga ganyan. Right? Mga hype. Yan sila. <laughs> right. So, yan. Um, let's move on. 
Yan, sa, um, dinaanan ko lang sa SMPH. Pasuyo po insights kay MWide, SMC, and food. Si MWide, SMC, and food. I remembered, I recommended MWide. Was that two, ways, two days ago? Right, kamusahin natin si MWide. Right, ang pag-usapan natin ngayon is purely stocks. Uh, little lessons lang. Every, um, uh, siguro random while we are doing the charting. Pero ayan, si MWide recommended it because of the support right here. Uh, here. And the support is still holding, so by as long as that support holds, okay pa rin si M-Wide. Um, SMC, si SMC, ilang araw ko na nareko yan, few days back, lumilipad na, so congratulations sa mga pumasok. Sabi ko sa inyo eh, dito sa baba kayo pumasok eh. And anyways, nag-break out naman siya kahapon, we, we talked about it. And if mag-break out siya, you can use a breakout strategy if gusto niyo humabol right now. Um, let's see how much your risk is. Yeah, tolerable pa rin naman ang risk, right? So, pwede nyo pong pasukin yan si SMC if gusto nyo. Dapat dito sa baba, sayang yung 5%, oh. Ganda na sana. Right? Anyways, uh, it happens. Uh, pwede nyo po breakout strategy for SMC. Overall, maganda pa rin naman ang movement niya. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay SMC. Um, yun. Um, Al Stephen, any thoughts on tags po? Right? Sige, daana natin to si tags, right? Um, Nagtitimpi ako dito kay Tugs eh, right? Kasi we have a flag pattern right here kay Tugs. I'm just really waiting for Tugs to do a breakout just to confirm a, a bullish move uh, for Tugs. Uh, let me draw a... Ito lang brush para ganyanin ko na lang, right? So Tugs has been making this pattern right here, right? So this right here, if you don't have this yet, uh, a screenshot ko lang, I mean... Labas ko lang ito. Alright, this is what's ha happening kay Tugs. It's a flag pattern right here. So, let me zoom in. Alright, this one right here. Ito. Alright, so. Ayan. This is flag pattern. Medyo pababa yung flag niya. So, or, or the pennant. Um, it's either the flag or the pennant. But the breakout will be a good entry point. So, antayin po natin yung breakout niya. Right, so this is Tugs. No, wala si Tugs. Right, so this is Tugs. And antayin po natin yung breakout niya before we wanna get in Tugs. Right, patience lang. Patience lang. So your, your opportunity will come. Right, if you think it's gonna break out and then trade it, you're doing the wrong thing. Always trade what you see, what not what you think. If sa tingin nyo magbe-break out yan at pinasok nyo, mali po yan. Always wait for it to break out. Right, trade what you see. If you see the breakout, then that's when you get in. Right, kasi baka bum bumulusok yan at bumulik sa support. Uh, investor na naman kayo. Right? At least man lang kung mag-break out, may maganda kayong base. If it uh, if it fails, then you can always cut your losses. Raymond Arano, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and to your family. Insights po kay SMC. We talked about that. SDR recommended it yesterday. Sir, mag-attend po ako ng seminar niyo sa F, uh, Feb, F, uh, February 2 dito sa Manila. Kanina ko po, kaya ipana, ipapangalan video account yung registration fee. Ayan, um, Andun po sa re registration form. Um, use this. Guys, February 2 po. Konti na lang ang seats available. Huwag nyo po sasayangin. Napakamura po ng seminar na yan. I'm, getting re I'm receiving comments even sa mga nagre-register. Ha? 1-5 lang po. Sure po kayo. <laughs> Yet, this is what I'm doing, guys. Ito yung servisyo ko sa inyo. I always try my best to look for sponsors so that our learning can be win-win. Um, Manalo ko, pero mas malaki po mapapalanulan ninyo. So, napakamura po ng seminar na yan. Use that link for the registration. Andiyan po yung re registration details. 1-5 lang po, February 2. And you will learn how to trade the market. Eh, tuturo ko po sa inyo paano yung mga students ko kumikita na sa stock market. So, it's gonna be a very good investment for you guys. Instead of losing that money, invest it in yourself. Invest it into learnings. And that is gonna return to you thousand folds right po so yan um that's the link for the registration february 2 wag nyo po sasayangin also um this saturday if andito kay sa, uh, sa visayas and if you want to join the seminar right saturday january 19 1 to 6 p.m po 1 to 5 p.m um sa Alpa City Suites, that's in Mandawi City. If papunta po yun dito si Boo for the Sinulog, don't miss out that opportunity. Sayang po. Right? Uh, uh, meron ako registration form or send me a message if you wanna join that. Right? Sa, wag nyo po sasayangin. It's a good investment. Kaso nga lang talagang 
market dito sa Cebu ang hirap, right? Kaya mga concert hindi ko ayaw mag-concert ng mga artista dito kasi Cebu is a very hard crowd to to rin. Gusto nila libre, right? Gusto namin libre. Ganyan kami mga Cebuano, right? So, yun. Um, it's, uh, yeah, but still we're, we're marketing it uh, as much as possible, as many as we can. If wala, if konti lang ang mag-enroll then that's still okay as, as long as we teach people even if one Filipino at a time. Ayan. Mga pala guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel para po everyday makapanood po kayo ng ganito mga program and my other tutorials makikita nyo po sa channel ko. Future tutorials then we'll talk about not just stock market but also, also financial literacy. Yan yung pinaka-importante. Yan yung kulang ng mga Pinoy. Uh, ang dami na lang sinasabi na ito yung solusyon, ng mga, uh, solusyon sa kahirapan ng mga Pinoy. Ito yung mga projects ng government I strongly believe that ang kulang ng mga Pinoy is financial literacy. Right? Financial literacy po. Yeah, that's why that's our advocacy. So please subscribe to my channel. Please share the video to your wall. At at least yung mga tao, yung mga friends ninyo, um, their, their curiosity about the stock market will be uh, will be triggered um, para at least makapagsimula sila. Please share it to your trading groups na walls so that um, the newbies there, right? Wala tayong pakialam sa mga magagaling na. Right? The newbies, that's who we're looking for. At least malaman po nila na may ganitong program that will guide them in their stock market journey. Ayan. So, a little plug on the seminars. Um, Saudi po. Alright, I'm gonna be there. Mag, uh, mag discussion po tayo dyan. Alright, I'm gonna teach you how to trade. Uh, sa Pinoy Fiesta ba yan? Alright, uh, that's February uh, 15. Yeah, February 15. I'm gonna be there sa Abu Dhabi, Feb 25. Yeah, Feb 25, and then sa Qatar is 26. Uh, I'm just gonna finalize the. Uh, the uh, I think that's ab uh, 18. No, no, not 18. Uh, 15 sa Saudi, 16 sa Abu Dhabi, and then 22 po tayo, February 22 dyan po tayo sa Qatar, right? So, let's talk about your stocks, your trading, how do you trade, right? So, send me a message if you wanna join that for the registration. Send nyo po sa akin yung, uh, just let me know, right? If you wanna join that sa so, mga followers natin dyan, I'll see you there, right? Um, dami po natin pwede pag-usapan, right? Especially sa mga OFWs. Um, gusto ko po na may channel nyo po na maayos. Yung pera ninyo, hindi lang, hindi po kayo gagatasan lang po ng mga um, relatives ninyo dito sa Pilipinas. I want you, tuturuan ko po kayo kasi gusto ko po pag uwi ninyo dito, you're gonna be stable. At least may prutas po yung pinaghirapan ninyo dyan. So, I'll see you there. Right? Let's, uh, hindi lang po stock market ang pag-uusapan natin. Right? So many things. Um, I can be your financial advisor. Well, speaking of financial advisor, guys, if you are uh, if you're, if you need guidance and your finances, hindi lang po sa stocks, right? Let me know, right? Um, I, I, I always uh, a lot time po to my schedule for those who are willing to learn. Send me a message. We can set an appointment. Mag video call po tayo. Let's talk about your finances and what can we do. Um, sa natin ilalagay sa stocks and everything else. And dami po natin option. I'll teach you how to do it. If hindi po kayo makapag-ipon, packet, let me know. We'll talk about your finances, right? Everything will be confidential, syempre, di ba? So, let me know. I'm gonna help you on how to ga, uh, on how to handle your finances. Uh, libre lang po yan. Right? That's the good thing about it. So, let me know. Send me a message. Uh, we can set a meeting. Raymond Arano, good morning, Sir Lloyd, and to your family. SMC STR. Um, so, let ko si STR. Actually, si STR. Sige, unahin ko na lang muna siguro yung, uh, what do you call this? Yung uh, recommendations ko. Uh huh. Right, so si STR recommended it yesterday and gumalaw na si STR do wanna recommend it now. Kasi missed opportunity na eh. MA20. Look at that. This is why I love MA20. La Alos lahat makikita nyo na si MA20. Diba? MA20 bounce. Set an alarm for a stock. X. For example, ganito. Right? So 6.02. Gusto nyo pong pasukin at 5.70. Uh, so mag-set po kayo ng alarm at around 5.75 malapit sa support. Para pag nahit po yan, mag-a-alarm and you just wait for the bounce and then get in. That's how you get in using the alarm system. Hindi lang po pang cut loss yung alarm system na yan. Yung mga watcher options niyo dyan. Hindi lang po pang cut loss yan but to capture to catch stocks that are on an uptrend. This is on an uptrend. If you can see, we are seeing higher high and now it's on a higher low. 
So, dapat nahuli natin to if you just use to watch your option. So, STR, set an alarm at around 5.75. Pag nag-notify na yung cellphone nyo, panoorin nyo na si STR sa MA20. Pag nagsisimula na mag-bounce at mag-bottom out, let's see the one-minute chart. Ganito po yung makikita ninyo sa bounce niya. Alright, let's look at the bounce at 5.70. Alright, 5.70. Asan yung bounce niya? Here it is. Uh, that was, uh, no, no. Ito. Here it is. Ayan. So, umabot siya ng 5.71. Massive downtrend. But after that, look at that. Nag-engulfing pattern kaagad. After that engulfing pattern, look at the RSI and 1-minute chart. That was a very good entry. Umabot siya ng 10.8. So, 1-minute chart, engulf, um, we have in R an RSI trigger. That's already a buy. And then, there's the stabilization right there after the engulfing. Pwede dito kayo pumasok ng 5.90. If gusto nyo. Pero, but I strongly recommend entering it here. Sana, nung nag-engulfing siya, 5.80, 5.90. And then, there it is. Umakit na siya after that. So, ganyan po yung ginagawa ko. Um, I set an alarm at around 5.75. At nag-alarm siya on this point. And then, just wait for the bounce on the 1-minute chart. This is what you can see on the 1-minute chart. RSI. Very good RSI. Buy signal sa RSI. We have engulfing patterns. Buy na yan. Buy na yan. And there it is. So, yun. Um, that's what I do usually para, mag, uh, para matiming po yung uh, entry points. Let's, let me go back to the one-day chart. So, ngayon, um, wait. Wait na konti. Yan. So, uh, yun. Uh, uh, my picks for today, unahin natin to si Vulcan. Vulcan, V-U-L. Right? Vulcan po, recommending it now. Why? Because after the engulfing pattern, we're seeing the good price action. Buying is already happening at a higher uh, at a higher price. So, that's good price action right there. So, you can test out this support if you want to. Right? Pwede nyo po testing itong support dito. Test out this support. This one right here. This is the good support for Vulcan. Pasukin nyo po yan. Meron tayong confirmation sa mga nag-aabang kay Vulcan. This is it. Right? So, pwede nyo na pasukin yan for Vulcan. Um, just use a support, please. I could be wrong. Pwede po ako magkamali. No, wala pong manghuhula dito. Um, if ever maliman tayo, we can always cut our losses. Ikat loss nyo po yan dyan. Right? Uh, um, just do strict cut loss. Uh, this, still, this is still on a sideways trend. So, test buy. You don't have to be really aggressive. Lagyan nyo lang po ng pera ng konti. If it goes up, then we're just gonna buy more on the next retracement pag confirmation na ng uptrend niya. Bell naman. I'm recommending Bell for today. Right? Um, MA20. We're at MA20 levels. So, hopefully, this will hold. Right? So, um, overall, napakamura ni Bell. Eh, right? So, I'm recommending this. Uh, Bell has been uh, medyo pangit yung third quarter earnings niya. Second quarter earnings were good. First quarter earnings were good then so overall napakaganda ng movements niya right um last year um it's been good doing good also second quarter and first quarter and lalaki kasi ng first quarter and second quarter niya last year kaya nahirapan siya to match that um this year pero at least positive pa rin so meaning they're doing well this year right so um bell overall napakamura pa ni bell we are at ma20 and we're seeing a bounce i will recommend yeah, buy this. Um, use the MA20 as your support. Your entry, if you are conservative, you can wait for the breakout if you want to. Pwede po kayo mag-antay ng breakout or baka uh, or gusto nyo mag kayo sa support. It's up to you. Right? But I'm recommending it now. Overall kasi, right? Overall, napakamura pa po ni Bell. So, I'm still recommending Bell. Alright. Um, next is MPI. My recommendation for today. Yes. MPI, use a breakout strategy. At the least, na lang breakout strategy. Why? Kasi hinipe ni Cole Financial si MPI. So, baka gumalaw yan today. Marami pong investor si Cole. So, if ever, um, gusto nyo po pumasok. Yeah, I think this is a good strategy for MPI. You can use a breakout strategy for MPI. Next up is PIP. I'm recommending PIP again. And because there is that, uh, andyan na po yung retracement na inintay natin. MA20 bounce. And you know what to do. Alright? Uh, ilang oras, uh, ilang araw ko na po ulit yan. We recommended PIP at this level right here. And now we are at buy more levels. Ayan. So, dito po natin na-recommend yan si PIP. And then, there it is. Gumalaw na. And, buy more levels na tayo. That's a higher low, guys. This is a higher high. 
right? Higher high and this is a higher low, right? That's an uptrend po, right? That's an uptrend. And the trend is your friend. So, you're seeing an uptrend. Bakit hindi natin pasukin? I'm recommending PIP today. Just a little review about para sa mga newbies, how to spot an uptrend. Alright, let me open paint. Alright, so, di ba ganito ang movement na isang stock? Uh, it can go... Galing ha, parang hindi mouse lang gamit, di ba? So, this is the swing of a stock, right? Uh, this is the swing high. This is a swing low. Right? This is one complete swing right here, di ba? So, on this swing, this is the highest point. This is the lowest point. These are the highs and these are the lows. If you are seeing similar highs, magka-level lang yung highs niya at magka-level lang yung lows, that means the stock is on a sideways trend. But the moment you see a higher high, mas mataas pa siya na high, compared to the previous high and a higher low right this low is higher than the previous low then that stock is on an uptrend the best entry points are here sideways trend best entry points are here this is entry points right here so this is where you buy this is where you buy and this is where you buy right that's a swing trader that's a position trader this is what i want you to practice especially the newbies that's what we're seeing on pip right uh we'll go with a uh, what they call this line graph so that's a higher high that's a higher low Makita nyo naman yan, di ba? i hope you can see it uh, but that's a high low point that's the confirmation bounce that is your entry point for pip pasokin nyo na po yan sayang po right sayang po yung uptrend niya kakasimula lang na uptrend ni pip Right, um, asan ako? Naghang ako bigla. Right, candles. Right, so that's my, that's one of my picks. Next up is EW, East West po. Why? MA20 bounce for East West. So that's very good. Right there. So that's your entry point. Use MA20 as your support. If ever it fails, please po, cut your losses. Cut your losses if ever that fails. Okay? So that's for East West. Um, PSB, ayan, Philippine Savings Bank. Um, meron tayong magandang movement dito. Very good constriction. I want you to wait for a breakout just for confirmation. Pag nag-breakout ito, ayan, pwede nyo po abangan yan. Pa baka mag-breakout yan today. This is good. That's a breakout on the lower levels. That's an, uh, that's an ascending triangle. If you can see that. Uh, that's an ascending triangle. Triangle po yan. Ayan, there, right there. So, if it breaks out, then that's your entry. I think it's going to break out today. Abangan nyo po yan. PSB. Next is CLC. Right. So CLC naman. Right. Um, Kakabounce na sa MA20. Still, we're still very near MA20. Still to tolerable risk. Right. 2% away, away from support. And you can cut loss at negative 5%. So, still tolerable risk. Pwede nyo pong pasukin yan. Si CLC. That's a good company right there. Um, next up is EEI. And si EEI still... Um, Nag-a-action na siya umakyat eh. Nag so, nagkatsupitan lang. So, still good for me, EEI. That's still an MA20 bounce. Still low risk. Pwede niyo po pa rin pasukin yan. Point zero, uh, point, uh, one, negative 1% one lang away from support. Secondary support is only 3%. So, very low risk position for a good company. How can I say it's a good company? Look at the earnings of EEI for third quarter, plus 132%. Second quarter, 52%. Uh, first quarter, negative 2, but that's tolerable. Annual earnings, 1.8%. Last year, 1.22. Two, two. Uh, second quarter, 3.62. Kaya negative yung second quarter na dito. Kasi, an, ano, that first quarter, negative 2.32. Uh, negative 2.32. And kasi, ang laki ng first quarter niya last year, plus 1.96%. Kaya nahirapan siya itapol that. But yeah, for two years, EI has been doing well. I think this is bottomed out according to the technical analysis we're seeing. That's a start of an uptrend right there. Volume band triggers, MA20 bounce, low risk positions. Pasokin nyo na po yan. Sayang yung position. Right? Those are my picks for today. Lastly, si FDC. Yan, si FDC. Uh, we're now at MA20. So, tolerable na siya. We have good price action already. Negative 2.8% away from support. I think magkukontinue pa ito mag-uptrend, right? Uh, we, we are seeing somehow uh, divergence dito, but with the FDC's, ano, with FDC's strong move, I think magtutuloy-tuloy ito, right? So, 
um, that's why I'm this is kind of risky for me right I don't want to recommend this especially for newbies right but yeah napakaganda po ng movement the FTC right so this is a buy area right here you can always test out the support if you want to if I don't recommend this especially sa newbies na mga kabado right don't do this don't do this at home right sa mga kabado so yan po yung picks ko ngayon that's those are my fix fix picks for today. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm gonna go back to your comments. Uh, unahin natin yung mga requests na mga kanina na nasulat natin. Una si Picor and si Picor still. Still okay for me si Picor. Just wait for the bounce before you you wanna get in Picor. Panaorin nyo po yan today. Anytime soon, baka magbounce yan. Uh, next is SEC. Right, MA20 is starting to good to show us good price action. There's already volume picking up. So yeah, MA20. But it was SEC. SEC. Just want to wait for it to go green before I want to recommend SEC. Papanoorin ko po yan. Bukas si SEC. Right? I'm just wait, waiting for SEC really to show us a good uh, a good, a good bounce. And then PHA and si PHA naman. Alright. Um, still, um, by the support, PHA is improving. Kasi nga lang, wala pa yung volume. Ang mga volume ngayon, nasa blue chips eh. Right? So, um, PHA, you can try nyo po ibudega dito uh, per small amounts lang it's still on a sideways trend and on a sideways trend that's not your friend the trend is your friend so antay natin mag uptrend yan before natin pasukin right uh, let me see one moment please right so next up is PHA FEN right FEN FEN Sarah FEN right so FEN naman uh starting to show good support right here really hard to call this guys um here sabihin eh right kasi nagka sell on news ni eh, right <laughs> this was the new this is the rumor part oh market na siya eh. and then nagsa sell on news na so it's really hard to call fen right now yes this is backed up by good uh catalyst but by good catalyst magandang news so maybe 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 uh, baka um tawag diyan baka umakyat ito anytime soon. So, you're seeing a support right there. You can test out the support. Kind of risky, but uh, hirap eh, right? Nasa taas na tayo eh. RSI is already up there. So, I don't want to recommend that anymore, right? So, I don't recommend FEN, but if you want to test out FEN, you can test that support out. Next for FEN is PCOR. Natapos na si PCOR. Si ISM, ito, paborito na mga taga-billionaires club. <laughs> uh, FEN, right? Um, I mean, no, ISM, that was an obvious uptrend right there. Still bullish on ISM. Uh, keep buying on the dips. Pag nag-dip ito, uh, get in this uptrend line. Simple. Just follow the ups, uptrend line, uptrend line. Sabi na natin toon pa, di ba? So, it's now at 6.40. Mas gusto kong ganitong movement. Kaysa dire diretso-diretso pataas. Because the faster the stock climbs up, the har harder it falls. Right now, it's accumulating. People are accumulating, right? Hindi po bumabagsak si ISM. So, on January 31, if maganda po yung kinalabasan ng ASM na yan, then we are expecting ISM to go up. It's just that, I'm not sure, right? Nobody can predict. I'm just expecting it to go up. That's why, nakaposition na po ako. Right, let me just move my camera for a bit. That's why, nakaposition na po ako. I always position myself uh, kung saan, kung ano man ang galaw ng stock, I can still move. Right? I don't want you to go all in kay ISM. Bakit? I just want you to go test buy because if it goes down, kung test buy lang ginawa ninyo, meron pa kayong pera to buy it at where it's the bottom. Kung saan pa yan, uh, ISM projected price is at 6.47. Kung saan po yung bottom niya, <coughs> at least, makapag-buy more pa kayo. At di, sayang, baka sabihin nyo, sir, sayang naman yung tinest buy ko. Eh, bumaba naman pala. The thing is, we don't know if bababa siya. What if? What if umakyat? At umakyat yan ng umakyat. Anong gagawin mo? Maiinggit ka. Di ba? Uh, sabi ng mga tao, um, the bababa pa yan sa 3%, dilution and everything. All the noises out there. Yan. Guys, I want this is what I really wanna teach you. Huwag po kayong magpapa-apekto sa mga noises dyan. If you are afraid because sinasabi nila yan, if hindi sila papasok, they can be right that it can go down to a certain price. Siguro mga 5. I don't think it's gonna go down to 3, by the way. They can they can be right. But what if they're wrong? Diba? And sa hunch pa lang yan, ang pinaka-importante is the strategy that they're applying. 
right? So, the strategy that they're applying is, ayon lang pumasok kasi kung nasa sa baba. Tama ba yun? Let's check, right? Tama ba yung strategy na yan? Sorry, not that one. This one right here. Sorry. Right. A good trader, at ito tinuturo ko sa seminars ko, a good trader positions himself on the what-ifs. Right? You have to position yourself na makakagalaw ka whatever happens to a stock. So, this is what's happening to ISM right now. Right? So, what I want you to do is do test by here. For example, you have 50K na budget. 50K na budget for ISM. Lagay niyo po ang 25K dyan. Why? If bumaba man yan, bumaba sa 5, you still have the 25K to buy more here. And then your average is gonna pull down. And then at the certain point, sure po tayong mag-uptrend yan. Third tell ko yan, si Udena yan. Right? Sure tayong mag-uptrend yan. So at the, at the very least, at this point, ilang araw lang, nakapag, you're already starting to gain. Right? Pag nag-all-in, um, that's the first what if. What if umakyat? Kaagad. Kung hindi, at least like, may 25K ka dyan, hindi ka mafufumo, hindi ka maiinggit. Kasi you're gaining at that point. You can sell a portion here, and then on the pullback, on the bounce, mag-all-in ka na dito. You are gaining. So whatever happens, if it goes up, you can do something. If it goes down, you can do something. Um, strategy nila, this is the strategy I'm teaching you. Ang strategy ng iba kasi na sinasabi ng mga guru dyan, yan, dito. Hindi ka bibili dito kasi baba. Huwag mo na kayo bumili kasi bababa yan. Pag bumaba yan, then that's good. Kasi makakabili kayo dyan. That's good if bababa. But what if magtuloy-tuloy? Ano mga magagawa mo? Nga nga, ilang araw mo inaabangan yan. Naghahanda ka ng mga 100K. Wala na, walang nangyari sa pag-antay mo. Diba? You can't do anything kasi umakyat yan. Ang ending, nako, frustrated. Umakyat na umakyat na umakyat na isang araw. May 100k na kang natutulog. Right? Wala kang magagawa. Ang ending, ang mga newbies pa niyan, mafufomo kasi lumilipad na, may pullback lang ng konti, dito na papasok, and then, magtuloy-tuloy na naman bumaba support, ipit na naman ang newbies. So, this is wrong strategy. Yung tinuturo nila na wag mo nang bumili, that's wrong. Right? That's bad trading. Yung iba naman nag all in dito, uy, meron na tayong uptrend. Sabi nila, oo, maganda si ISM. Sabi ni Sir Lloyd, maganda si ISM. All in ako ng 100k dito. Wag po. Kasi pag bumaba yan at matagal pa mag-uptrend, lagay natin mga limang buwan pa bago umabot ulit sa level na yan. Paano yung pera mo? Limang buwan matutulog. ba? So, if you, that's wrong. Tri, uh, that's wrong. By, okay lang yan. Kung umakyat, at least, kaching, perang pera ka. What if yan? That's good. But what if bumagsak? Nga nga ka ipit ka, investor ka, tapos maninisi ka na naman na, na naman. Right? So, you have 1x in this strategy. Pag hindi kayo pumasok, you have 1x also. Kaya po, tituro ko po sa inyo, test buy po. Para kung ano man mangyari, you can do something, you can do something. Dalawang check yan. That's good trading. Right? So, yun po yung tuturo ko sa inyo. That's one of my lessons sa seminar. I expound more on this on the seminars that I have. That's why I strongly recommend you join the seminar. Marami po kayo matututunan sa seminar. Right, um, next up is, ayun, um, as na yan? Oops, malito yung napindot ko. Sorry about that. Just close this out. Right, so, next up, sa so question, about, uh, after si ISM, si CLC naman, kamusta natin yung chart ni CLC? Uh, as na yung chart ko? Alright, let's check out CLC. Alright, any comments, um, Pagaw tingog sa imong mic sir red nga eh. So I'm just gonna fix my microphone after this. Pasensya na uh, nagka problema ang the opening eh. Good morning from Oman, newbie member of Traders in Oman. Good morning sa inyo Jana sa Oman. All right, 6 ISM gap up from from 640 to 6.47. Good job. Thank you so much for uh, the updates sa ISM projected price ni PIP 1.48. Oh, that's good. CLC is still a buy for me. Ayan, uh, we're near support. You can test buy. Ang ganda ng volume. Right, uh, volume is picking up on this day. So, yeah. Um, low risk position. CLC is a good buy. Pwede nyo po itas buy yan. Kakasimula pa lang na uptrend yan. That's a higher high. That's a higher low. So, CLC is good. Uh, that's why it's in my recommendations today. Bloom naman. Yes, guys. Bloom. Ang ganda ng projection kay Bloom. Right. Uh, nahuli natin yan si Bloom dito eh. At this divergence right here. And then, this, this divergence in the price right here. 
So, ang ganda ng divergence na yan. So, congratulations sa nasa Bloom. Napakalakas ng uptrend ni Bloom ngayon. Let's wait for it to retrace before we wanna get in. Nag-Bollinger Band trigger na naman si Bloom. So, pero medyo risky na yan for me eh. It's already out of position. So, wag, and I will not recommend Bloom as of the moment. Inaabangan ko po yan ng pullback before I wanna get in. I could be wrong. Pwede pang tumuloy-tuloy yan. Baka sabihin na, makasabihin mo na nga si Sir Lloyd. Sabi, hindi, hindi naakit yan. Tapos, hindi ako nakapasok tuloy. Pwede pang umakit yon. It's just that it's not for position trading. It's for momentum trading. It's for day trading. Right? You have to watch the market full time if hahabulin nyo pa yan. If you cannot, wag na po. Right? MA20 bonds for CPG. And sa CPG, um, uh, Bollinger Band is telling us na magsa-stabilize ito. So, yeah, I think MA20, you can use MA20 as your support if you wanna get in CPGs. On a short uptrend, uh, baka magtuloy-tuloy ito si CPG. Right? Um, you can use the MA20 as your support. Maganda naman yung RSI niya. So, yeah, CPG, use the MA20 as your support if you wanna get in. Next is ISM. We talked about ISM already. BDO, ito si BDO. Yan. Um, just wait for a breakout kay BDO. Ang ganda na ng price action ni BDO. Eh. Right? Price action is there already. So, just wait for it to do a breakout in this level right here. So, at least yan na yung gawin natin kay BDO. Or at the very least, kung bumalik man yan sa support niya, then you buy at this support area right here for BDO. Um, next kay BDO, there's a request for now. Si now, mataas na po yan. That's already out of position. So, yun na pong papasukin yan si now. Right? So, just wait for it to do a next uh, pullback again. Um, SSI. Ayan, si SSI. Ayan, si SSI. Confirming a support. Very good job. Right? So, good job kay SSI. Antayin lang natin yung green. Volume is there. Right? So, that's good. Right? Maganda ito eh. Pag hindi mo mababa ang presyo, volume is going up. So, that means that uh, it's accumulating, right? Um, ready your screenshot, bo. Uh, if you don't have this yet, this is called the, ano, uh, this is called the price to volume relationship. So one, two, three, four, five. Picture nyo na yan. Right? It's if the price is uh, no change but the volume is increasing, that's bullish. That's signs of accumulation. This is what's happening to this stock SSI right here. The price is not changing but the volume is increasing. Right there. So, people are starting to accumulate on that support. Pag nag-green yan po, huwag niyo po sasayangin yung support. That's your opportunity to buy. Huwag po yung nagmaakit na at hahabulin ninyo. That's the support. Wait for it to go green and then you get in. That's for the confirmation. So, si SSI, nag-aantay lang ako mag-green yan before I wanna get in. Si FLI, tulog pa. So, FLI, eh, nag-volunteer ban trigger na eh. Right? Let's see if FLI, gumaganda na yung volume ni FLI eh. Let's see if it bounces at MA20. Abangan nyo po. Isa po yun sinaabangan ko. Pag nag-bounce sa MA20, pwede nyo po itest ba yun si FLI. So, good job sa paghahanap kay FLI. SCC, we talked about SCC already. Si P, uh, na pag usapan naman, yes, tapos na. Uh, si Picor, uh, we talked about Picor already. Si Aji, and si Aji. And, um, AGI, mataas na po. That's momentum trade already. Antay nyo po yung pullback before you wanna get in AGI again. Antay nyo lang po yung retracement before you wanna get back in AG. Uh, mataas na po masyado yan. Um, June Dilejero, good morning Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay IDC and CHP. IDC. Um, hi Sir. Nag-sign up po ako for, uh, for Feb 2. Me and for my husband, nag-BPI transfer din. Po, I sent the message po, Financial Freedom 101. Ayan, I'll check that out today. All right, so IDC, look at that, guys. MA20, best friend ko. All right, good volume. Kakabounce lang, pero mataas ang risk. <laughs> Ito yung problema, right? Uh, this is the problem with people who are waiting for the end of the day. Pag nag-end of the day trading po kasi kayo, pag masyado po kayong conservative, Baka at the end of the day, naiwan na kayo. You missed your uh, you missed your opportunity to buy. Right? Ang gusto ko usually is, I'm an aggressive player. If I see a bounce at MA20 early in the day, let's say now. So, one minute chart. Anong oras ito? Nag-bounce sa MA20. Uh, the MA20 price is, mag alam nyo yun, um, is at 4.87, 4.85. Let's look at the one minute chart. Look at this right here. Same technical analysis that I'm teaching you guys. Pagpababa ang presyo. This is one minute chart. Interday trading po itong tinaturo ko sa inyo. Bottom pick for the interday trade. Napakagandang bottom yan. Yan. 
my bottom picking lessons if hindi niyo pa po napapanood this is how you bottom pick this is how you bottom pick in an intraday chart 1 minute chart yung MA20 was 4.85 and you see this buy signal bullish signal um, RSI na divergence bullish signal buy there's an engulfing pattern buy na po yan and then you should have been able to win this much on IDC. This is a short lesson about intraday trading. This is how I bottom picks intraday trades. Pag nakita ko po yan, IDC, malapit na sa MA20, right? So, abangan ko yun sa MA20 and I look for a buy signal. And then, there's that bounce at MA20. Perfect. Technical analysis, ituturo ko po sa inyo yan. Lagi, lagi, didikdik ko po sa utak ninyo yan because that's the best kind of trading. Uh, yung low risk na position na yan, right? So, that's 9% within the day. That's a lot, right? So, si IDC, in yung problema, if ever nag-aantay pa kayo ng, in, um, ng end of the day trading, baka maiwan na kayo at wala na, missed opportunity na naman, mag-aantay na naman kayo sa susunod na opportunity. So, medyo mahirap, right? Um, SMPH po, Sir Lloyd, pati A, yes, SMPH is already on an all-time high. Antay nyo po yung pullback niyan. We just talked about that a while ago. So, yun. Um, kay IDC, guys, uh, antay nyo lang natin yung next pullback sa MA20. Right. Gumamit po kayo ng watcher options, please. If wala pa kayong watcher option, open na 2 trade Asia account, libre pong watcher option doon. Right. So, doon kayo mag-trade. Kasel, Vis John, Visaya, wala po, sir, volume. Right. Okay na po. Sorry. Uh, Isaac, any thoughts on now? Sir Lloyd, will it break out today? I can't really tell. I don't like the breakouts right now. Kasi nasa taas yung breakout na yan. So, I don't want to recommend a breakout. Pero pag nag-breakout, yes, you can be aggressive. Pwede niyo po pasukin. Uh, yan. Anyways, bullish naman ang market. Um, let me... Um, Paul Mini. Hi, sir. Good morning. Po, pasuyo naman po ng ABS. It's ABS... Oh, taas na ni ABS, right? I don't want to recommend ABS right now. Antayin po natin yan mag-breakout si ABS. Dito sa ganyan. Antayin po natin yung mag-breakout siya. That's a flag pattern for ABS. Right? So, antayin po natin mag-breakout yan. Dito si ABS, recommend natin yan dito sa baba. Diba? Same technical analysis. Divergence. Divergence. Recommended it here. Nag-stabilize dito. Recommended it again because nag double bottom jan and then there it is umakit na. Um, wait for it to do a breakout if you wanna get in ABS, right? I strongly recommend you wait for it to do a pullback talaga or at MA20 before you wanna get in. But it might not happen, di ba? So if it breaks out, that's a confirmation. Pwede nyo po gamitin ang breakout jan for ABS. Um, DD naman, double dragon. Uh, DD, ayan. Ang hirap eh. Nasa taas na si Didi eh. Right? Dinidikdik ko ito si Didi sa inyo noon dito sa baba. <laughs> right? So, and then anyways, uh, Didi, uh, really hard to call. Ang ganda ng volume. Hmm, get in the support as much as you can for Didi. Right? Um, hirap eh. Right? Ang hirap na rin yung Didi eh. It's really hard to catch this right now. Pwede itong lumipad ulit today. So, momentum positions na ito. Uh, for position trades, wala tayong position dyan. It's really hard to call it right now. Dapat dun sa baba, pumasok tayo. So, pwede nyo momentum trade. Get in this near, near this support as much as you can. Right? Get in near this uptrend line. Ito yung parang price action movement niya. This is the best point to get in. Wala po tayong position trades dyan. Ang hirap na position dyan. You can try to bargain. If hindi kayo makabargain, try to bargain it at this support right here. Ito support na ito. Right? So, dyan nyo po i-try try habulin yan. Right? Dito sa support na ito. Try nyo po habulin. Try to bargain. If hindi kayo makabargain, let it go. Right? For DD. Idan Valenzuela. Uh, Valenzuela. Good morning, Idan. And si Idan yan. Uh, he's a kid. Um, I forgot how old Idan is. But he's below 15. Right, ang bata pa ni Idan, I think below 12 pa nga, and he's already watching the do the daily grind. Good morning, Idan. Right. <laughs> uh, he's gonna be a trader in the future. Yeah. Good morning, Idan. And yung mga anak niyo po, expose niyo po sa stock market, sa investing, so that it becomes a habit. They will have the habit of a rich person, hindi yung habit na hingi ng hingi, tas gastos ng gastos. Uh, kung mag-shopping man, mga kumpanya ang sina-shopping, di ba? <laughs> si, yan si Idan. Right. Raymond Arano, shout out to Idan and family. Right, I'm gonna see you in February. 
3. Yan, February 3. Hopefully, I can see you there. Raymond Arano, sir, pag-greet po naman ng anak ko, si Sian, and my wife, si April. Good morning to you, uh, Raymond, and your family, Sian, and April. It's the, ah, 9.25 na pala. Right, sorry, na daldal ko talaga eh. Hindi ko na mamalayan yung oras na lumilipad. Right, so, ah, that's it for today, guys. It was a very, ah, siguro, I don't know, um, <laughs> nag-enjoy ako sa pag, ah, uh, ah, tawag niyan sa, pag discuss sa inyo. Right, it's really, uh, it was a fruitful day to day. Yan, ang ganda ng discussion natin. Kaso kapos tayo sa oras, hindi ko po madaanan yung request ninyo lahat. Uh, I'm gonna see you again tomorrow. Let's continue our discussions every day. I'm gonna look for a topic. If I can find one na maganda na hindi ko po na-discuss sa inyo, yes, we can talk about that. Siguro I'll post about it. At least my ends up ko kayo kung may topic tayo bukas. But definitely, I'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, market is looking good. Right, so on your supports, yung mga stocks na mga hinahanap ninyo, just test by the supports already. Sayang po yung opportunities. Don't be too um, conservative on this kind of market kasi bullish nga ang market. We're also already seeing um, foreign buying consistently. So, that's good for the market. So, yan. Don't be too conservative. This is the time to be aggressive. Noong bearish yung market, that was the time to be conservative. Now, it's good to be aggressive kasi magandang market. So, you can be aggressive now. That's it. And as always, let's get rich together. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.